I am back here with my latch hooking rug and it's been way too long. It's such a huge project that I didn't have the courage to pick it up for a whole month and I have finally figured that I will finish it. So I have finished this side of it, which is one wolf. And now I have to work on this side where there's going to be the howling wolf with the moon. And it's going to be just about as much as this one in terms of work. So I'm expecting maybe 35, 40 hours to work on this thing since I'm a little bit faster than I was with this side. I'll just get started. It's been too long. So I'm done with the first line of my other half and this is where it's going to end. So it's really really big. Um, just like previously, I'm sorting out the colors for the first each 10 over here so that I can just go square by square by square. That just helps me orientate where in the project I am. This half was tougher on me. The initial excitement had worn off and there were no exciting bits here to be looking forward to. The first side had mouth, the nose, eyes, ears to work on. Here all I had is fur, countless rows of fur. It was hard to keep myself motivated at first, so I did a few rows, then I would skip a couple days and then I'd do a few rows more. About halfway in I really set my mind to try and do 10 rows every day. Of course, that did not exactly happen to my plan, but it did help me push myself. I would usually do five rows two times a day. It was, however, tough on my back. Uh, I coped with it by supporting my back with lots of pillows and my husband helped me with some neck rubs. I kind of got scared a little that I was running out of my black yarn, but that ended up not to be the case, thankfully. I had read on Amazon uh, reviews that someone had run out of their blue yarn. I honestly can't even imagine doing this whole thing just to figure out that I can't finish the piece. I did get quite a bit quicker at it, so my speed by the end of this project was about one row every 20 minutes and that was 62 yarn pieces. I would say that this side took me about 30 hours to finish. Of course, due to it being hard on body, I could not really work on it for more than one and a half hours at a time, so it still got extended over many days. Lastly, look at that moon. Does it not look like your creepy Uncle Sam with that nose of a potato? I guess every art piece needs a bit of controversy to keep things interesting, so I just went with it. Did you notice my little bird walking over my piece? That's our newest baby and his or her name is Frost. She's our fifth budgie. Today is the day I will be finishing my project. I have only four lines left there and then I will work the edges and attach it to the pole that I have gotten. I finished! This is how it looks! And here's what's left in the box after my project. I kept away some of those strands that just didn't fit. There were some with knots inside of them. Some of them were significantly too long, so they were not cut properly. I did not toss anything out, just in case I ran out of any of these colors. I didn't want to be in a situation where I just didn't have the color. 
But I ended up still having two almost full rolls of color that I didn't even use. And some little bits and pieces from other rolls. Now I just have to work on working the edges in and attaching the attachment to hang it on the wall. are supplies that I've gotten to finish my project. Those are scissors, a tapestry needle, hopefully that's gonna work, a three millimeter macrame cord to attach um, the rug to the pole that I've gotten. This is already cut to the size and sanded, so I'll see what has to be done. That's my idea, I hope it's gonna work. I will start trying and see how it goes. To begin, I will trim down my edges to about five squares on either side. All done, nice and trimmed. I left slightly more at the top because that's where all the weight will be supported. And I didn't want any strands to be pulled out. Now my next dilemma was what to use to stitch those sides back with. I was considering thread or my macrame cord, but the cord really seems too thick to easily work it in so I think I'll just go with the thread. By the way notice how it's absolutely gorgeous even from the left side. If you go closer you can see all these little loops that I kept in and some of my dog's hair. Try to ignore those. So finally for stitching down the excess material I have chosen to just use needle and normal polyester thread. I will use a double just for extra strength. And I'll probably go in not too big of pieces because I don't want it to loop up on me. There are a couple other methods that I've seen how people finish these edges. One being using uh, some sort of tape that you just place on here and that's pretty much it. I didn't want to do it because I wanted to have the opportunity to still access my loops in case I would ever need or want to change them out for whatever reason. And then another way that I saw that was really cool was that the person had already folded it in from the beginning and started putting the loops from the very beginning in folded material so there was no edges to finish by the time the, the piece was done. I'll do it in the most simple way and simply use the have my extra fabric secured and now you can see I've cut that pole now um, just a tiny bit longer than the edge that I need and I will create little grooves here at either end to hopefully hold the cord in place for hanging otherwise I was worried that it might slide towards the center I got my grooves ready on either ends. This is gonna be for the hanging cord. To finish my project, I will be attaching two cords to my dowel. One will be the hanging cord, and it's gonna go from one end in the groove till the other end in the groove. And then in between, I will be just looping this uh, latch hook piece onto my dowel. I'll make this as strong as I can to hopefully prevent it from sliding out of this groove. Apparently I got a little cut on my finger, so patch that up. I guess woodworking is not quite for me, but I'll be doing more of it, <laughs> so stay tuned. I'll measure out this cord to be just a little more than my dowel, and then I'll chop it off. I will now start to attach my piece to my dowel before adding the other end because I don't want this to be in my way while I'm looping the latch hook piece onto my dowel. I am not sure how long of a piece I will need to cover all of it, so I think I will just 
go with extra, always better than having less. And I still, fingers crossed, that it's gonna be enough. Got my tapestry needle. And of course, I'll tie it down at first. one could only go in every other one but I have decided to just do it in every little eyelet that I'm getting As you can see, I did unfortunately run out of cord here, but I connected another one with a sliding cord. That's the best I could come up with at the time. So it happens. I will now tie off this cord as well as attach my hanging cord. I will be attaching this rope quite straight on because it, it has quite a bit of give. This is my finished edge. I think it looks pretty good. This is the final work. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous as a room decor as well. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe for more craft videos. Thank you, till the next time!